ever wondered what's happening in the heart and mind of someone who's deeply connected to you, yet seems so distant? Imagine a whirlwind of emotions, love, longing, and confusion swirling around someone who sees you as their true soulmate. With the Seven of Cups and Lovers cards guiding their journey, they're daydreaming about you, replaying memories, and envisioning a future together. But there's more. They're navigating their own shadows, battling fears, and clearing out old patterns to make way for a love that's more aligned with their true self. They're not just stuck in confusion. They're actively working on themselves, guided by spirit, to embrace growth and healing. The Nine of Pentacles reveals their growing confidence and independence, while the Nine of Cups promises a deep wish fulfillment they see in you. As they battle their fears and insecurities, they still crave your presence, dreaming of closeness and connection. Curious about the depth of their feelings and their journey to you? There's a powerful transformation happening, filled with passion, vulnerability, and a burning desire to make your dreams come true. Dive into their world where love and fear intertwine, and discover how this evolving connection is leading both of you toward a more profound and divine bond. The magic is real, and it's all unfolding in ways you might not expect. Ready to find out how this captivating journey is shaping your future together? This person is deep in their emotions right now. With the Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Lovers, they're feeling a mix of love, longing, and confusion. They're daydreaming about you a lot, thinking about all the memories you shared and imagining a future together. They want to reconcile because they see you as their true soulmate. They know this connection is special, something divine, and they feel like you're meant to be. Even though they've been distant or walked away in the past, it's not because they don't care. They're actually walking away from their own shadows, leaving behind the fears, doubts, and things that don't serve them anymore. Spirit is guiding them to move forward, showing them that in order to embrace the love and peace you offer, they need to grow and change. They're working on themselves, clearing out the negative patterns, and letting go of things that don't resonate with their true self anymore. This person is starting to see beyond their confusion. They're tuning into their intuition and realizing that the path toward you is one of grace and divine love. Spirit is actively communicating with both of you, guiding this connection toward a journey of healing and fulfillment. They're coming toward you, ready to embrace a deeper bond, but they're also on their own path of self-growth. This journey is about clearing out the old to make way for a love that's more stable, peaceful, and aligned with the divine plan for both of you. They want to create something more with you, but there's uncertainty in the air. Your person feels like the future between you both is unclear, like they don't know what's coming next. There's a lot of magic surrounding this connection, yet they're hesitant to make a move. Fear holds them back, making them wonder, what's going to happen if I take action? They see different outcomes, some good, some not so good. This makes them feel torn, pulled between love and fear. They have doubts, but deep down, they know this connection is special. It's a battle between the head and the heart. Even with the fear, they're moving toward you. Their heart is open, and they want to connect on a deeper level. They're just unsure of the path ahead. For some of you, expect communication soon. They're working on pushing past their fears and doubts to reach you. This love is growing, and they want to manifest a stronger, divine bond between you two. The Nine of Pentacles brings a positive message of independence. Your person is breaking free from their shadows, becoming more secure and confident in themselves. They feel a sense of abundance growing within. They see you, the Divine Feminine, as someone who is full of love, peace, and stability. Your maturity and calm energy draw them in. In your own life, you're finding happiness and peace by focusing on yourself. You're doing more of what you love, taking time to slow down, 
and enjoying moments of solitude. Your actions inspire them. They may feel restless because they want to share so much with you. They have big dreams for their soul mission, career, and your future together. It's like they're filled with energy, but they don't know where to start. Even though it may feel overwhelming, abundance is on its way. The things you've both been manifesting are starting to take shape. The pentacles represent the stability and success coming into your lives. Think of the grapes as a sign of growth, everything is starting to bloom. This is a time where everything you've both worked for is beginning to ground and become real. The Nine of Cups represents deep wish fulfillment. Your person sees you as their dream come true. This is a journey of emotional growth, as you both progressed from the Six, Seven, Eight, to now the Nine of Cups, all leading to the Lover's Card. They are moving toward greater independence, not just in the world, but from relying on outside opinions and societal norms. It's about breaking free from those influences and finding their own path. This transformation is happening for both of you, and it's leading you down individual paths that are still connected. You're both growing and walking forward together. They want to communicate their love and dreams with you. Like a genie ready to grant wishes, they want to make your dreams come true, fulfilling your deepest desires and needs. In return, they see you as someone who fulfills them in ways they've never experienced. It's a powerful realization for them as they're waking up to this deep connection. They no longer want to live in a fog of uncertainty. Now, they see the love between you as a source of true happiness, and they're ready to embrace it. Again, the Seven of Cups is about what is in the higher dimensions. These are like potentials of what could manifest. So much is going to manifest, so much positivity here. And we have the Seven of Wands. This is your person defending your connection, protecting it very powerfully. I do feel as though, for some of you, there has been some external interference, but there is stability here. If there has been any sort of external interference, it has actually strengthened your bond even more. How else are they truly feeling about you right now? Let's look at some messages from the Divine Masculine cards. They feel insecure at times, which causes them to put up their guard. They worry about the unknown, sometimes imagining the worst-case scenarios, like some of those cups being filled with negative things. Fear of what could go wrong lingers in their mind. But they're working through this. They're healing those fears, letting them go. With the Six of Cups and the growth they're showing, they're learning to open their heart to you more and more. They want you to know, I'm here for you. They are dedicated to this connection. They want to support you, not just emotionally, but in all areas of life. For some, this even means defending you, standing up for you if needed. They're ready to be that steady presence, always on your side, no matter what comes your way. You both are aligning, moving closer together. This energy shows progress in your connection, like two paths merging into one. They're saying, it's okay, don't worry. You're both great at calming each other's fears. When insecurities pop up, they want to provide you with stability and abundance. They love seeing you happy and safe, thriving in life. You also offer them reassurance, but sometimes they need it from you too. If doubts or negative thoughts creep in, they want to hear it's okay. At the bottom of their mind, there's this question, does she still love me? Or it could be, does he still love me? This is their fear, but they're pushing past it, making the effort to reconnect. They also have a simple wish, let's cuddle. They crave that closeness, wanting to hold you or just be in each other's arms. They're ready to come forward and show you who they truly are. Right now, they feel happiness. You bring them joy, peace, and emotional fulfillment. 
When they're with you, they feel uplifted, like everything is falling into place for a successful relationship. You're progressing together, and they love the way things are moving. Some of them might have needed a bit of reassurance, and whether you've already given it or are about to, it's helping them feel even more secure. That reassurance is shifting the energy toward happiness. But, alongside that happiness, they also feel fear. They might be scared of losing you. They may wonder, what's happening? That fear could be triggered by overthinking and worrying about worst-case scenarios. It's the kind of fear that comes with sleepless nights, thoughts racing with what-ifs. They might fear being ghosted or losing you, because sometimes you seem more independent. With the Nine of Pentacles energy, you're in your own world, building your life, your success. While you focus on your projects, they might feel left out, unsure if you're walking away from them. The fear of you leaving is linked to that Eight of Cups energy. But the truth is, you're both aligning. Even if it feels like you're stepping away, you're actually coming closer, growing stronger together. This person might need to pull back sometimes, especially when they feel scared of being ghosted. They might put their guard up, but deep down, you both share a strong love. The lover's card shows this connection is mutual. They run, avoid, or get overwhelmed when heavy emotions surface. They might bottle up their feelings, staying silent. This is how they act when they feel insecure, and it could be a reflection of how you feel at times too. Even though this happens, there's real progress. They're moving toward opening up their heart, finding ways to express their love for you, though how they communicate will vary for each person. So how else are they feeling? They're daydreaming about you constantly. Thoughts of you fill their mind, fantasies, dreams, and goals. They might escape into these daydreams, imagining a future with you. It's like they're in their own world, dreaming of what could be. This also ties into manifestation. Even though they may not be taking direct action right now, they're manifesting love between you two, bringing you closer over time. Their thoughts, though passive and ungrounded for now, are setting the foundation for a deeper connection in the future. Just like the Seven of Cups shows, there's a lot in the higher dimensions, but it's all coming together. Private and Ascension This person, and it could resonate for both of you, is a very private person. They want alone time with you, and there's a lot of intimacy. Some people may know what's going on with them and your connection, but many people around your person don't know because it's a deeply personal experience that you're both sharing together, and it's to ascend. Ascend false matrix fears and come back into love. Hurt This person may feel hurt if they feel like you're distant sometimes, but when they're hurt, they may also take distance. Whatever way around it resonates, I feel that can resonate for pretty much everyone. When fears, doubts, or insecurities arise, it's natural to retreat for a while. Desire They have a lot of desire for you. This is why they're constantly thinking about you. These desires lead to manifestations. Thoughts and emotions behind those thoughts lead to things coming into your lives. There's a strong desire for closeness and I just noticed the matching colors of desire and let's cuddle. They just want to be in your arms, and you want to be in theirs, just like those lovers. Let's look at some more message cards. What do they need you to know right now? They're going through a big change, called an ego death. This is a tough process where their old self is breaking down and a new self is emerging. It's like they're shedding an old skin. This can be very intense and might make them need some alone time. Think of it like the Hermit card, where they go inward to understand and adapt to these changes. They also feel a strong desire for you. This is not the first time they've mentioned it, passion burns brightly for them. The more they desire you, the more they worry. 
When you want something deeply, the stakes are high. They fear losing you or that things might not turn out as they hope. Their passion brings both excitement and fear. It scares me how deeply you see into me, but I love it. Sometimes your person feels naked and vulnerable, which may make them want to hide away or protect themselves, but they love the intimacy that this connection creates. They love the sense of safety that your energies provide for each other. It's this whole thing of the ego death, peeling away the layers that no longer serve them. I dream of being with you again. I feel you with me.